you've been all over the news because you were just fired for what was uh, perceived to be Nazi rings on your finger. Is that correct? That's correct. They were reported as a, a Nazi SS ring. And what was on your finger? Can you pull up the pic there, John? What was on your finger? Oh, it's a, uh, I can actually go grab it. It's a, a, a Mexican sugar skull. Just a, it's a skull ring that's real ornamental in design. And the next one was a, a Teutonic cross, which dates back to, some say, 12th century, but I've seen it go so far back as the 8th century. Uh, <laughs> so it's, now, it, it, it's the equivalent of the, it's still, it's the, it's the German Medal of Honor even today. And as of 2010, uh, Americans have been awarded that medal. Amazing. Yeah. 2010. Yeah, they're, they're so desperate for Nazis that they'll take a random skull, make it an SS skull, and then they'll take anything remotely German, call you a Nazi. That's not what's amazing to me, though. What's amazing is that it sticks, and you're out of a job. Your career is over as far as New Orleans goes, right? You were the principal of a school in, in NOLA? Correct. I ran the, uh, the alternative school, the expulsion school here. And, and beyond that, too, I mean, I could be Googled anywhere, so I'm not sure uh, that it I mean, most, I, I'm probably a liability for most schools at this point. It's amazing, too, because even if you sue the school and, you know, you get an apology, that's not going to appear in Google to the tunes of a quarter million views, which is what this story has. No. And so my plan is to be self-employed and uh, take a, a voice and a platform for those who, are, who, who, are, who can't speak up because of fear of losing their job, fear of social outcasting, uh, fear of financial ruin. I'm going to take this platform and just take the fight to those people that uh, crucified me. Yeah, it's it's funny because these people accidentally politicize people who weren't necessarily that political. I mean, uh, well, from what, the little I know about you, you were obsessed with your school and the message of your school. And you went to a, to a place where they were removing historical monuments, and it all seemed part and parcel of the same message, which is to preserve history and spread information. That's right. And, and freedom and the ideals of the Constitution of the United States. And, and I mean, I, it looks weird. You know, I get it. I had the, the shield. But those the, the other side that causes violence, you know, they bring weapons, they, they bring mace. And so I, I suited up for what I thought could be a potentially hostile assault. Is that your liberty. shield behind you right now? That is. Can we see that? What does it say? Oh, come and take. Yeah, Molan Lavi, you know, because the, the, the Spartans carried it and, and uh, they held off invaders that sought to enslave them as well. And, and at the bottom, you know, I did this with my son. At the bottom is a, uh, a ship and there's a chief and a tribe and, and they're going out to explore new lands and, and they have a torch to take whatever, you know, spirituality and wisdom they have when they go off on a conquest. And, and uh, so it's really exploration. And I'm an anthropologist and historian by training, so I value a lot of the a lot of this, which is uh, erroneously mislabeled by, um, you know, it's just it's Nazi. It really is amazing that, and, and here in New York, we have, we have teachers who are members of the Communist Party, and the communists have got a good hundred million uh, deaths behind them. It's got to be more than that, because Mao was 70 million alone. So they've got well over a hundred million deaths, but communism is, isn't seen as a bad thing, even when it's registered real communism. Yet the inference of a potential Nazi, no matter how true it is, is enough for an instant firing. Hey guys, thanks for checking out that video. I do a show uh, that you gotta pay for, subscribe to. It's called How's It Going, A, eh? And I talk to uh, interesting people about interesting stuff, and it's very serious and educational and political and smart. You can subscribe by clicking here. <laughs>